Right, I'm down here with Paul from 65 Days of Static. How are you doing, dude? I'm doing good, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now, what you don't know is that this is the second time round because the mic wasn't on, so thank you very much for pretending like it's quite all right. I'm a pro, really. I've, I've dealt with worse technical errors <laughs> in, my, in my time in this band. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm not as bad as someone else. That's. <laughs> oh, no, they're, they're, it's us that have the technical Oh, normal, oh right. So yeah, it th makes a nice change. <laughs> Well, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make people feel better about themselves. Um, so, uh, yeah, so what's it like being at Sonosphere for you guys? So it's not your first time here. No, it's our second time. The first time was four years ago, which was brilliant. The, the whole thing felt like a bit of a, a fight for us because we're not really a Sonosphere kind of traditional Sonosphere band. We're a little bit out, out, a little bit out of place, but in a nice way. You say that, but they've had like Richard Cheese down here and stuff. And I have no idea who that is, but he, Richard, say, he sounds good. <laughs> He's like, he's an insane person, he does jazz versions of metal songs. Okay, I still metal songs though. You know, there's still, a, there's oh, still a, an element. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, I, uh, so I guess we, we're noisy, I guess that's our common thread with all of this stuff. Um, and the first, the first time was great because it felt like there was a lot of new people, but over the course of the set we won the whole tent over and yeah. had, I, it was like, it was really, really good. So, uh, this time, somehow we're on after the Prodigy finish. Um, it's going to be the, basically the only band playing, so I'm hoping for like a load of it's, hope. It's only going to go well. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if there will be some weird-looking faces out there after Prodigy, but you know, they, they might have wandered in accidentally. But even those are new fans that you can like sort of pick up, grab, and then have for life. Exactly. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so, uh, it, you guys are doing a, a, a little tour, a European tour. But you've only got four dates in the UK and only one up north. I thought, is, are you worried about oversaturation, uh, oversaturation in like North of England? Well, we we did the big tour in last year. To tell you the truth, like the record came out in October, and we were on tour for most of. October, November, d December, I think. Um, so we, we covered a lot of a, a lot of places, yeah. So this is like it's the festival season. Um, a band like us that tours a lot. It's um, well, I mean, it's not the time to talk about it really, but it's really it's quite hard and it's getting harder. So you don't want to overplay. Um, you want to kind of make the most of the shows when you do them. Absolutely. Uh, and so. We're kind of heading out to Europe and back again, so we fit in some shows in places that we've not played for a long time. Um, so we're doing them, you know, like we were in Leicester last night, and yeah. I think it's been four years since we last managed to play there. And, wow. Uh, so it's places like that in Cardiff. And they're right. next door, they're like neighbours to you. I'm, I'm shocking at geography, actually, that's probably not true. It's not far, it's oh, not okay. far, to be, to be fair, <laughs> but it's nevertheless, it was uh, it was nice to go back. Yeah. Thank you very much, dude, for having a chat, and I uh, wish you all the best of luck in the, the European tour. Thanks very much.